Hello again, this is John Lundquist from Paladin Academy, and this is lesson uh, 2.1 or 2-1, Unit 2, Worksheet 1, Intermediate Algebra, Adding Fractions. And if you notice, um, I have here um, a circle, and uh, we'll call that 1 one unit. If I divide that in half, I have um, two things. I have this one thing divided in half and or divided in in half with a two thing a two on the bottom and the number on the top is one. So notice that the number on the bottom tells me how many equal parts I've divided the unit into. And the one on the top will tell me how many of those parts I have. So if I if I if I took one half plus one half, I'd have two halves. So if I if I um, fill this one and this one, um, oh, the little circle there, <laughs> um, that would be a whole, right? So this 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 would be one. So two halves is the same as one. Now, you know, same with three. One third, if I divided uh, a unit, uh, one unit into um, thirds, one third plus one third plus one third is three thirds. So I add one third plus one third plus one third and I add the top numbers one two three I get three thirds which is also one because um, if I wanted to you know fill this in I get three thirds uh, and then fourth you know of course if you let's say I wanted to add um, this one and this one and oops that was a, I wanted this one this one this one so this would be three fourths because I am adding just three of I'm adding one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. Suppose that then um, this is fourths, you know. So that would be three fourths. One, two, three, fourths. And then you know you add one more, it's four fourths. Okay, so um no oops wanted to get rid of this um so let's say i wanted to add um it's kind of easy if i wanted to have add one one half and three thirds so if I add one, whoops, if I added one half plus the three thirds. Well, that's, I mean, just looking at it, it's pretty easy because I got the one half plus three thirds is one, right? And the way we write this as a mixed fraction, put the, I put the one and the one half. Kind of interesting that actually in the middle ages they they wrote it that they wrote a half first but one half one but um they don't do that anymore so we we have one and a half and it's really one plus one half was well, this really a we assume a plus in there between the um the we assume a plus between the one and the one half. So, but that was pretty easy because we could, you know, we could see that. So now we're going to look at what if we added, let's take something easier just to start with. Let's take and add a fourth and a half. So we have one, whoops. One, I want a darker color. So one half plus one fourth. Well, 
what we do is I need to have something on the bottom so I can count these up because we, you know, notice we've always counted up things with the same number on the bottom. And we call that a common denominator. Common denominator. Denominator. Um, or you could just say the same number on the bottom. Same number on the bottom. Same number on the bottom of the fraction. Of the fractions that you're adding. So, common denominator is just a, a sample, a fancy word for the same number on the bottom. So, um, if I took this here and I divided this in half, okay, and then I took this and divided this in a fourth or this half into halves. Whoops. I'm going to go all the way across so I can fill it in. So I could say, well, this is one fourth and this is a half. So I can add them. I can darken them in. I got that one and this one. So, and then, you know, I think we can see that that's three fourths actually, you know, three fourths of the thing. So let's um, divide. So I'm going to make this half into fourths. Well, notice that this half right here, or this one right there, right here, this is a half. Well, all I do is take a half and divide it in half. So I'm going to divide this in half. So let me let's erase this. I'm going to I'm going to then make this into a half right here. I can do that. That's not so great. That's, that's good enough. So I'm going to make this. I'm going to fill this in. Oh, and then I uh, I wanted to make this guy in a half. Okay, so now I know that this is a fourth and a fourth. Now, now I can add them. So it's three fourths, right? So how did I do it? Well, I mean, I did it with a picture. Now, how did I do it with numbers? Well, I find I have to make these two, this number four. So I, I want to make this number into a four. Well, I notice that if I multiply this by 2, I get 4. And if I multiply 2 over 2 times this 1 half, I'm not really changing anything. Because this, remember, 2 over 2 is 1. Because this, 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 this is 2 over 2 right here. That's 1. And 1 times anything is anything. I mean, 1 times something one uh, oops one times one times two is two right one times what one times a half one times a half is one half I and mean, not changing any multiplying by one doesn't change anything so it's two over two two divided by two or two over two or two halves times one half i i multiply the, the two top numbers get 2 and the two bottom numbers I get 4. Then I get 1 over 4. Now I can add, because I got the same bottom number, I can add 2 and 1 I get 3 over 4. So that's basically how you do it. So let's just take a little harder one. Let's take um, um, 1 third one third plus one fourth. Um, now I do not have 
an obvious that three can't go into four, four can't go into three. So what we usually do, and not always, but what we'll do is multiply these two together to get a because the, if I multiply them together, I know that's a, a common multiple of a common multiple. That means three and four fit into twelve because three times four is twelve, and three times four is twelve. So we know that this is a common multiple. Sometimes you can get what we call a least common multiple or the lowest common multiple, LCM. And then like, um, let's say two and uh, six. Well, the least common multiple is six because in the, you almost call it the greatest common multiple is, is two times six or 12. Um, but, it's, um, but six is the lowest common multiple because six is the lowest number that both go into simultaneously or uh, as as a whole number. So the I'm going to quickly go through this because we're running out of time. I'm going to multiply this by four and this by four. Four times one is four. Multiply this by three and the top by three and I get three. Um, over 12. So and I did, now I have a common number on the bottom. I add the top number and I get 7 twelfths. So that's it. That's how you uh, add fractions. Here's the, um, the worksheet and I'll come around and help those who need it. Thanks.